Ever since the end of 2023, when Fortnite OG ended, Fortnite's record high player count has continually declined. We have known for a while now that Epic intended to bring back OG Fortnite following its massive success, but we just assumed that was the same Chapter 1 map. However, after some time had passed, we learned that this go around is going to be a version of the Chapter 2 island. Then, all of a sudden, on a random day out of the blue, on a Saturday no less, enter Fortnite Reload which is trying really hard to be OG. It's almost there, but at the end of the day, it's not. In previous videos, I've talked about Fortnite Chapter 2 OG and what it could mean pretty extensively, but in this video, I'm going to expose Fortnite Reload's number one secret Epic does not want you to know. All right, so let's take a look at the roadmap. If you haven't seen it by this point, you're most definitely living under a rock, but that's okay, I still love you. This is a confirmed roadmap. You can see everything that has happened and and will happen this year. If you take a closer look, notably absent is Fortnite Reload. Also, as I mentioned earlier, this was a total surprise. This blindsided people. I mean, this came out of nowhere to the point where they announced the game mode on a Friday and the next day on a Saturday on a weekend, it dropped. With the combination of those two things, it's pretty safe to assume this game mode, this whole thing, Fortnite Reload, got thrown together very quick in a rapid fire manner. I I didn't realize it till I looked this up, but apparently this game mode has been made in less than a month and development began in late May of 2024. Take a second and just look at what this game mode is in and of itself for a second. It is a small map, very small, with reused POIs and for the most part, the OG loot pool. Given that, it makes a lot of sense that it would not actually take a ton of time to throw this game mode together. A majority of the process was probably just playtesting. Also, this is kind of how Battle Royale came to be in and of itself in the first place. I mean, this started out as a solo save the world mode and then evolved into BR in less than two months. True story. Now, it's not like the mode plays bad. It's a fun game mode. It's a really unique thing to Fortnite, not in gaming overall, but in Fortnite to be able to respawn without a reboot card. It's a ton of fun on a familiar map and I really do like it. But with that said, I'm starting to think that Fortnite Reload was very much a desperate act from a desperate Epic Games trying to get back some of these players that they had in record numbers on their game less than a year ago. Introducing Fortnite Reload is close enough to what all those players want, so Epic hopes they'll just come back, and it's been partially effective. There has been a notable increase of players, but it's probably not to the level that Epic was hoping it would be. I mean, let's be real here, the numbers in comparison to the OG season are just not even close. Here's what I think happened. I think after the success of Fortnite OG last year, Epic definitely opened up their roadmap and said, okay, let's do this again. Then for whatever reason, they decided they were going to do chapter two. Not saying chapter two is bad. I like chapter two. But to me, chapter two just doesn't get the blood pumping in the same way that chapter one does for so many people. After they confirmed their plan, that's when the roadmap got leaked. And that's when we saw that chapter two OG was actually going to be a thing. And that, ladies and gentlemen, became the catalyst, I believe, for Fortnite Reload. You see, once it was public knowledge that Chapter 2 was going to be a thing instead of Chapter 1, like many people thought, people had an opportunity to voice either their displeasure or their positivity on social media. Again, this is not trying to be me hating on Chapter 2 because I like it and I'm genuinely excited to play it again, but from what I can see, a majority of people seem to think that it should have been Chapter 1 OG again this year, maybe just with a completely new battle pass, it would have been lit. But once they put their plan out there, they can't just go changing it up. That looks really sus. And I bet they would get a lot of hate from the people who really liked the Chapter 2 idea. So instead of backtracking, they found a solution that they thought would appease all parties involved. They created Fortnite Reload, which again is trying really hard to be OG and almost is, but just quite isn't. Again, that's just what I think happened, but I think they realized that Chapter 2 probably wasn't going to work out as well as they thought in terms of bringing players back to the game. So in a last second impulsive move, they decided to bring Fortnite Reload into the game to try and recapture some of the glory of those numbers from late last year. If that is their plan, so far it's only kind of working. There's been a bump, but not really that big of one from what we might have thought. Now, Reload still has time to mature as a game mode, and who knows what they have up their sleeve. It is supposed to be an iteration of the map, 
at what we have right now. I expect a lot of changes, and who knows, there could be a massive surge. On the other hand, Chapter 2 OG could turn out to be the greatest thing since sliced bread, and everything I'm seeing now could just be really dumb. We know that Fortnite Reload was developed in a month. We know that it wasn't initially their plan. They just kind of came up with this thing. And most importantly, we know the numbers. The numbers being the player count. To them, players equal money. And it's just a fact. The more players you have on, the more likely people are to buy things. They pulled out the big guns too, with making sure everybody knew about this in the one day they had to promote it before the game mode dropped. Their media buying budget for ads on social media must have been crazy. TikTok, Twitter, YouTube, literally everywhere, almost every ad I saw, I was seeing it. You know they were really swinging for the fences by bringing out Kai Sinat and Sketch to be in the game modes trailer. At the end of the day, who really knows why Fortnite Reload became a thing in the first place? It's not like all of a sudden the resurgence mode just got invented. I mean, this has been in Warzone. This has been in Apex Legends. This is not some new idea. If it was, you could easily say, oh, well, they just added this, so we're going to add this to try and keep a competitive advantage. That's kind of what Fortnite did with the reboot van because Apex Legends was gaining a lot of popularity and they had a reboot mechanism. A couple months later and Fortnite added a reboot van. This is not like that. The resurgence mode has been around for a while and it's puzzling why Epic all of a sudden out of the blue decided to drop this game mode on a weekend when it wasn't on the roadmap or in the plans at all. You really know this was crazy because the leakers had no idea. These really good and high tier leakers had zero clue. This was clearly very safeguarded. To me, it seems like a somewhat desperate act. Don't get it twisted though. I'm not saying I hate this game mode. I'm not trying to complain about it. I'm just pointing out the obvious that it wasn't planned and it looks like this was done on a whim. Fortnite Reload is a good game mode and it does contribute to the game in a really good way. It's awesome to have this game mode. It changes up everything from what the normal BR is. Being able to respawn, I think, caters to a lot of new people who might need to learn a little bit or just don't want to have to be sitting there once they die. The game mode really does invoke a lot of questions when you think hard about it. It makes you wonder what's going on over there at Epic I would really love to know, but I don't know if we ever will. Hey, huge shout out to all the legends, Rocking Code, Dr. P, and the Item Shop. You guys are all absolute chads. Be sure to let me know your thoughts below. I'm really interested in hearing from you. Yes, you. Also, consider subscribing and dropping a like on this video for more future content. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next one.